everyone. It's Rhonda here from the Clever Corvid Art and Art Workshops. So today we're going to do something really fun. We're going to play with garbage. Yep, garbage. I have found ways to take ordinary plastics and junk that would otherwise get thrown into the garbage and end up possibly affecting our environment and use them in ways that keeps them out of our environment and in our home. So stay tuned and I'm gonna get a supply list going for you. All right, let's get going. So we're going to start by making some of these really fun plastic flowers. So you're going to need some regular old packaging. This thick plastic works really well. So most of the time this gets thrown in the garbage, but what you're going to want to do is save some of it and then you wash it so that there's no residue on the backs of it. Look at that beautiful, shiny silver that's there. All of this is going to get used to make some interesting flowers, okay? There's the flowers. If you have some buttons, you can use some buttons. If not, anything small and round. These are the caps to plastic containers or pop bottles and uh, you could use those. If you have white glue, that'll be handy, or a glue gun, but please use this with the assistance of somebody because this is very dangerous and you could burn yourself. You'll need a pair of scissors. A stapler would be really handy, especially if you don't have glue. And if you can get your hands on a big safety pin, that would be awesome. So basically for this, what we're going to be doing is just cutting a whole bunch of circles. So I start with a small circle, then I cut another one and another one and another one. Let's count how many I have here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I have eight on this one. On this one, I only have five, I believe. So it's up to you how many flower circles you cut, but you're gonna start with a small one and then they're gonna get bigger and bigger and bigger. Okay, so let's get started. Did you notice something when I was cutting out the circles? When I cut this one, that kind of became my guide. And then when I cut this one, I put my piece of plastic in behind it. So I knew that I had to make it that much bigger so that with every circle that I cut, it gets bigger and bigger and bigger. If you didn't catch that, go back and take another look at the video so that you can see how I made sure each circle gets bigger, okay? Now, before we start to attach these, I want you to take all of your circles and one by one, I want you to squish them, wrinkle them, and put them into tiny little balls. And then I want you to open them up again. And the reason why we're doing this is because when we wrinkle these, it makes the plastic a little bit more ruffly and a little bit more three-dimensional so that when we piece the circles together, it doesn't just look like a plain old flat flower. It's gonna have a little bit of depth to it. So you go ahead and you start squishing your plastic circles. Squish away. There's all of my squished plastic circles. Now I'm going to layer them from largest to smallest. Then I'm gonna grab my stapler, put it through all of them, staple it in one direction and the next direction. Then I'm going to just fluff these edges a little bit. Oh, it's already starting to look really cute. If you don't have a stapler or glue, you could actually 
sew this if you wanted to. I'm not a very good sewer at all, so that would be a nightmare for me. But if you're really good at sewing, you could just stitch right through all of these layers quite easily, and then you could piece it together that way. So I went ahead and I glued a button onto my flower. But if I don't have a glue gun, like I mentioned, but you have a thread and needle, you could sew a button right on as well. And I also mentioned alternatives. So this is a lid from a pop container. I think that it's just a little bit too big to glue on, but you know what? It actually could really stand out if you wanted to. And you could even use a permanent marker and put dots on this to look like the seeds of the center of a flower. And if you don't have either of those, you can go back to just using the plastic. Look at the beautiful shiny silver. So I cut a small circle that's about the size of a button and that would look great on there too, wouldn't it? Here's some alternatives for your flowers. You can add leaves. These leaves were added on just with glue on the back and they're plastic. But these ones are actually cardboard from an old uh, packaging, I believe for Minecraft. So I could add leaves onto this as well if I wanted to. There, I added some leaves. Pretty neat, eh? Now, this can be used in a lot of different ways. Let's explore that. So look at what I've done on the back here. I took a large safety pin and I put a piece of plastic over top of it and I glued it here and I glued it here. Now this safety pin is in here for good. What do you think I could do with that now? Huh? Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Now, can you imagine how much of a fashion diva you can be with these all over your clothes or as a part of your headband? You could have flowers all the way around it. How else can you add these to your clothing attire to be super fashionable? You know what's great about these? It's plastic, it's durable, and it's waterproof. So you can put these all over your outdoor clothing and they're not gonna get ruined. It, they're pretty strong. That's awesome. And guess what, friends? You don't have to use a circle. You can use any shape that you want to make your flower as long as when you make your first flower shape that you do the same thing and you make each one bigger and bigger and bigger after that. Now look at this. This is all I have left now for garbage in comparison to the bags and bags of garbage that I would have had if I hadn't made these flowers, right? So it is helping a little bit. I wanna show you something else that I made with a plastic bag. I made this really awesome pencil case. And it has a Ziploc opening. And look at all the supplies I'm able to hold inside. So if you get a plastic bag that has this type of a Ziploc seal to it, they're really awesome for making something. So here's one. This is like a, a green giant bag and it closes really well. So instead of having the bag really long like this, what I did was I cut it here and I cut it here and I kind of took the center out and then I just joined them together and then it was shorter. And I used a lot of duct tape. So that's the thing is you have to use duct tape or packing tape to keep it closed. And then I cut more of the plastic to make all of these different shapes that I taped on with clear packing tape. So that's another option for you. And another thing that I wanted to show you that I made with the plastic is this art piece. Let's see if I can get it so that there's not a lot of reflection. This is in glass. So this is all done with plastic. It's hard to see because of the reflection, but you can see all the printing and stuff that's still on the plastic, right? And you might think, why would you want to do artwork where you can see the labeling? Don't you want it to be a nice, smooth color? Actually, no. I like the fact that it has the lettering and, and the printing on it. It's a really good reminder to me that this was garbage that was going to get thrown away. So it tells me that I'm trying in my own creative way to do something for the environment. 
Here's an idea. Maybe if you make yourself a button and you wear it, we become part of a secret upcycling society. So when we see each other wearing these, we give each other the thumbs up and a big thank you for doing something good for the earth. Yeah, I wanted to show you this. This is all of the plastic that I have been collecting for at least a year. It's all cleaned. It's all been cut and organized by its color. As you can see, it's the colors of the rainbow. You might think that's a little bit of bananas, but I have a really, really big art project that I'm going to be working on. So once I have that up and running, I'll make sure to share that with you and keep you posted on that. If you are going to collect recycling and plastics in your home, please make sure that you talk to the parents in your home and you wash those plastics and you store them away properly. You don't want to just collect garbage around your house. You have to do it thoughtfully and practically so that you can use it creatively. Thanks for joining me today. I hope that this was inspiring for you. Have a great day. Think art.